Confused by your blood sugar readings, even though you're doing everything right, you're not alone, and the reason might surprise you. Blood sugar myths don't just affect people with diabetes. Whether you're managing prediabetes, aiming for steady energy, or just want to feel your best, these false beliefs could be holding you back. Before we dive in, let's define what we mean by myths. These are claims that don't match up with real science, outdated advice still floating around online, and misleading half-truths that sabotage real progress. By analyzing real blood sugar data and digging into clinical studies, we've uncovered some of the most damaging misconceptions, and it's time to set the record straight. Myth number one, you can always feel when your blood sugar is high or low. Think you know if your blood sugar was off? Think again. Nearly one in four adults with diabetes say undiagnosed because they don't notice the symptoms. High blood sugar often creeps up silently. The fatigue, the thirst, the blurry vision all develop so gradually that your brain normalizes them. By the time obvious symptoms appear, damage has already begun. Even more concerning, studies show that people with long-standing diabetes often lose their ability to detect dangerous lows, putting them at risk for seizures or worse. This is why regular testing matters more than just listening to your body. Your glucose meter doesn't lie, but your perception might. What's your experience? Have you ever been surprised by a reading that didn't match how you felt? If you think that's surprising, just wait until you hear the most persistent sugar myth, one that even some well-informed health experts sometimes get wrong. Myth number two, eating sugar directly causes diabetes. The idea that eating candy bars gives you diabetes is like saying wet streets cause rain. It gets the relationship completely backward. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition where your immune system attacks insulin-producing cells. Sugar consumption has nothing to do with it. For type 2, the relationship is more complex. While drinking sugary sodas correlates with increased risk, the stronger factors are genetics, visceral fat, and physical inactivity. The real problem isn't sugar itself, but chronic insulin resistance, which develops over years from multiple factors, only one of which is diet. This explains why some thin people who eat sweets develop diabetes, while some heavier people who avoid sugar don't. Does this change how you think about your diet? Or does it reinforce what you already suspected? Our next myth might explain why your blood sugar readings seem inconsistent. Myth number three, normal blood sugar range is the same for everyone. The standard 70 to 100 milligrams per deciliter fasting glucose range isn't a one size fits all target. Your optimal range depends on your age, activity level, medications, and even the time of day. A reading that's perfect for a 25-year-old athlete might be concerning for a 70-year-old with heart disease. This is exactly why generic advice doesn't work for everyone. Your body has its own unique way of handling blood sugar, what some experts call your glucose signature. That's why setting personalized targets based on your age, health history, and lifestyle is so much more effective than following a one-size-fits-all approach. You'll get better results when you work with your doctor to set goals that fit you, not just some random number. This personalized approach reduces frustration and improves long-term success. Have you noticed different patterns in your own readings at different times or after different activities? And speaking of patterns, the next myth explains that morning spike you might be blaming yourself for. Myth number four, the dawn phenomenon is just poor diabetes management. Ever wake up with high blood sugar despite doing everything right the night before? You're experiencing the dawn phenomenon and it's not your fault. Between 4 to 8 a.m., your body naturally releases cortisol, 
growth hormone, and glucagon to prepare for waking. These hormones signal to your liver to release glucose, causing morning spikes. Over half of people with diabetes experience this biological process. It's not a sign of failure, it's normal physiology that needs specific management strategies. Instead of self-blame, work with your doctor on timing medications or adjusting evening routines to counteract this natural process. This knowledge frees you from unnecessary guilt while giving you practical tools to address the real issue. Has anyone ever made you feel like your morning numbers were entirely within your control? You won't believe how the next factor affects your numbers without you even realizing it. Myth number five, stress doesn't really affect blood sugar. Your stressful job might be spiking your glucose more than a donut. Chronic stress elevates cortisol, which directly increases blood sugar and worsens insulin resistance. One study found that work-related stress increased diabetes risk by 45% compared to poor diet or lack of exercise. Even more concerning, poor sleep from stress creates a vicious cycle. High glucose disrupts sleep and sleep deprivation raises blood sugar the next day. Managing stress through meditation, adequate sleep, and social connection isn't just good for your mental health, it's essential for glucose control. This explains why some people see improvements in their numbers after vacation or lifestyle changes, even without the changing in their diet. What stress management technique works best for you? The next myth gives hope to millions who think their diagnosis is a death sentence. Myth number six, pre-diabetes always leads to diabetes. If you've been diagnosed with pre-diabetes, here's the good news. It's not a one-way street to diabetes. Research shows that lifestyle changes can reduce progression risk by up to 50%. Even modest fat loss, such as 5-7% to of body weight and regular physical activity, can reverse prediabetes entirely. The problem is that 50% of people with prediabetes don't know they have it, missing this critical intervention window. Early detection through routine screening gives you the power to take action before permanent damage occurs. This knowledge changes prediabetes from a scary diagnosis into an opportunity to reclaim your health. Do you know what your prediabetes risk factors are? Have you been tested recently? Now that you understand these critical myths, you're ready to take control of your blood sugar with our next video. This is the best protocol to fix high blood sugar and poor digestion. We'll share 10 powerful science-backed ways for balancing blood sugar and healing your gut without the guesswork. Hit that like button, share this video with someone who needs it, and subscribe for more videos just like this.